Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and you're new here. Welcome if you're not welcome back. I know today is on Monday. I recorded yesterday a video and I did not realize that the whole time I had not re I did not press record so it was really re not recording so I was just talking. And by the time I realized that I was done with the case. So today it's going to be a different case. It's still going to be an unsolved murder family case but it's going to be a totally different case. So let's go ahead and get started. If y'all have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. The girl, your girl will appreciate it. I love doing true crime. I talk about missing children on Friday. And this whole month, this gonna, I'm talking about unsolved family murders. So today, we are going to be talking about the son family. And I have never heard of this case until I started searching. And yeah, this case is interesting stuff. So go ahead and just start that now. Sorry guys. Okay, so um, so the case update. Hello, my my loyal true crime readers. I'm thrilled to let you know that these that there are has been a huge break in the case. I have been following the heartbreaking some family murders for years and received these. There is finally some closure, and I got this um where I got the story from is from a true crime files. It's, this is um a website that I found the story on. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, on September 11th of 2022, 58-year-old Feng Lu was arrested in San Francisco, California, and charged with the capital murder in connection with the Descent family death. He had just returned to the USA from China. Court documents revealed that the murders may have been committed because Lu felt slight at work. During police interview, Lu told authorities he had, he had asked Moya son for a recon nation at work but was passed over for the promotion he believes son lied to him and never really provided the recognition police also discovered Lou brought a gun on january 23rd of 2014 and two days later they believe he used that gun to murder the entire son's family but Lou was not charged with murder during the initial investigation he claimed he was never in the son's family home and denied ever knowing where they lived Police did not have DNA putting Lou inside the home, so they decided to hold off arresting him until they had more evidence. Then in early 2022, investigators retested an old purse that had been found inside the son's home. For the, their, this test, they used new DNA software called STRMIX, which can separate DNA stents of multiple people found in crime scenes. The re the result of the retest gave investigators just what they needed, a soil, soil DNA hit pointed directly at Lou. Investigator requested a warrant and Lou was arrested and charged with the murders. At the end, at the time of this update, Lou was still awaiting trial, but hopes are high that the Sun family may finally get some justice and their community can begin to heal. So we're just going to go through the whole case file overview. I didn't know that it was on solved because when I did research on this one it was not solved so but it's okay I still want to talk about it the Sun family was found murdered in their home in Harris County Texas on January 30th of 2014 Moyo's son 50 engineer his wife Mia C 49 and their son Timothy 9 and Tisa 7 were all shot in the hands execution style and separate and separate bedrooms Moya's co-workers became concerned when he missed several days of work. He was a mechanical engineer for Cameron in Houston-based oil and gas and truck and tree equipment manufacturer. After Moya's co-workers contacted Harris County Police, they did a welfare check in the suns around 7.30 p.m. and discovered their bodies. Authorities noticed that the back door of this house was open and a window at the rear of the house was broken. The police just described this crime scene as horrified. No weapons were found in the home, so murder-suicide scenario was quickly ruled out. After the autopsy were performed, the estimated time of death was determined to be sometime between January 24th at 7 p.m. and January 25th at 11 a.m. The Sun family burial killing remains unsolved. And so these are the theories that they had during the investigation. 
Were the sons murdered during a home inv invasion robbery? This is hard to know because police are being extremely tight-lipped about the case. They haven't released the type of gun used in the crime or if anything was missing from the home. The police have, however, said that the sons were your average quiet family and didn't appear to be linked to elite to illegal activities. These points to their death being a random killing. However, I think that a typical robber would murder four people in cold blood, including two children. Also, none of the victims had been tied up prior to their death, which is quite common in a home inv invasion robberies. Of the police, it doesn't feel like this any crime was random. And then the did a Kurt Kerper Chinese official has the Sun family executed. The Chinese media has reported that the Sun Yangying, a top Communist Party member, confessed to placing a hit on the Sun family. While being interrogated about this, about his involvement in the corporation, Suan stated he had the family killed because Maya, a former employee of the state owned Chinese National Petroleum Corporation, was private to Suan illegally. Dilly went and Song was in the state oil industry in the 1990s, also Maya. The port management sign assessed in the United States and handle classified documents. These theories strike me as both possibly and far fetched. Officials have been quickly to point out that the Song environment hasn't been sustained. More, moreover, most of the media outlets state that the report saw confession have mixed record of according. What do you think murder? Who do you think murdered the son family? Police are not giving up in this case. They haven't even put up billboards along the recent highway to try to generate tips and haven't brought in the FBI for assistance. Harris County Sheriff Adrian Garcia spoke directly to the murders during a news conference. He stated, I want you to remember that you killed two children. I want that to burn in your brain. He went on to say, I wanted to give you a heart condition. I wanted to give you lockers. Statements like this make it clear that the police are working hard to seek justice for the Sun family. Investigation believe that the public, especially the Chinese community, may have information that could help solve the case. The police, however, feel that the members of the Chinese community are too afraid to speak out. It is time that someone bravely steps forward to help the Sun's loved ones and family oversee attain some sense of closure. There is a seven, well, there was a 75,000 reward in this case and with the range and asked to call but it's because it's soft already so yeah if, but if y'all want to give any information and know more about the case and not really have anything y'all go ahead and um yeah go ahead and um call the crime sightlers but yeah guys that's just this case to figure out with y'all fighting with the case I love y'all and I know that today's not Monday but I'm sorry I should have posted yesterday but yeah, I was, but then I realized that it wasn't, I wasn't recording, so yeah, that goes that. But yeah, I will see y'all Friday with the missing child, please. Love y'all.